Today is day two of former President Donald Trump's children testifying in New York's $250 million civil fraud suit against the Trump Organization. New York Attorney General Letitia James is accusing the former president and his company of exaggerating his wealth to secure favorable business arrangements. Trump's oldest sons, Eric and Donald Jr., were both on the stand today answering questions about their roles in crafting the company's financial statements. They have both worked as executive vice presidents at the company. NBC's Lindsay Reiser joins us now from outside the courthouse in New York City, where she has been all day covering this. So, Lindsay, Eric Trump took the stand late this morning. And before that, we heard again from his brother, Donald Jr. What did we learn from each of them today? And Nikki, we are waiting for court to resume from lunch, but Eric has a very different style from his older brother, Don Jr. Don Jr. seemed a little more relaxed, at times was even joking with the judge while on the stand, and Eric seems to be getting a little more frustrated with the questions. At one point, raising his voice, appearing to get angry, saying, I was not personally aware of statements of financial condition. I did not work on a statement of financial condition. Those are the documents that really are at the heart of this case that the Attorney General's office says contain overvaluations so that the, when they would apply for a loan, the banks would think they had more cash on hand than they actually did, and thus would lower the risk and lower the interest rate. From Don Jr., we heard his testimony. He wrapped up without any cross-examination from the defense. Remember, these are the state's witnesses in their case, so they're compelled to testify. And he essentially said that Don Jr. relied on people that had more expertise in accounting and in uh, finances than he did, people that he actually paid to do that, even though his signatures were on some of these statements. And then this is what he said when he walked out of the court today. Before even having a day in court, I'm apparently guilty uh, of fraud for relying on my accountants to do, wait for it, accounting. You pay experts millions of dollars to be experts. You sign off on what they give you and you're liable. We're expecting to hear from the former president himself on the stand on Monday. Ivanka is scheduled to testify Wednesday, but Vicky, she is appealing on both jurisdiction and relevance. Back to you. All right, Lindsay, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.